Howdy folks, welcome to the 3D Sapiens Roadshow. Your defrosting host Dan Davis here. Um, so I was just getting ready to... Hold on a second, there we go. So this is my new office, <laughs> as it were, um, so to speak, while I'm kind of going through things and uh, cutting down on things and so on and so forth. Um, so I'm staying where I'm staying and I'm trying to get it down to where I can get everything in a 5x5 five five and then whatever's in my car. But also work. So I'm separating all my files and books and whatnot. Anyway, so the stuff's in this, it's not really a tent, it's a shelter thing, right? It's a shelter thing. So, um, hold on a second, I'll give you a little tour while I'm talking. Um, so I'm still sleeping in the car because it, it gets well below freezing still at night. I just took this off that, you know, whatever. Um, it, was, it was on the uh, music stand and it was getting warm. But it gets below freezing. So um, if you noticed the Michelin Man look here, I've got about six different layers on that. I was just getting ready to get out of. So this is the stuff that's going to go in storage. This is stuff, some of that, like the file cabinets go in storage. But um, all the boxes, you know they're separated by book that I'm working on so the files and whatever reference books and I've got one pile of stuff left to go it's my MacGyver box of stuff and, and whatnot um, so I'll be done with that within an hour or so anyway so this morning I was getting ready to um, to uh, open up the tent and everything and from this angle right here you can't even really tell and it was I got over here like this and I until this was in the shadow and what do you see that looks like a muddy footprint to me a little bit wider in here there's the mid tarsal ridge it's not a big one it's uh, either a kid or a female something but um, that's pretty much clear that's one of the clearest footprints I've ever seen but again you have to see it I didn't really see it from that other angle here you can see a little bit, I guess. Um, but it wasn't until I put my shade, until the shade went over it, and I went, holy crap, look at that. Look at that. You can see all the digits, perfect. And so, um, <laughs> so that's the left foot. This looks like part of the right foot. Might have been, I know they use tippy toes sometimes to walk on stuff. I don't know. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> Oh, wow, that's that's one of the best imprints I've ever seen. So, um, why would they like the, why would they like the tent? I don't know. Um, there's the sharing site. That's where I sit during the day. Um, the umbrella is perfect for the, where the sun's at. And then at night, you know, I'm walking around with the uh, halo because the batteries were dead. So, um. This is what morning looks like for me. Built a little pond here and a little dam bridge to go walk across. So, um, I tried a fireplace over there, but you might have noticed the tent was getting covered with ash. So, um, I moved operations over here, so to speak. Got the sun tea going. Got ash fall still happening, but um, nice protected place to heat up things. Wheelbarrow for wood, but uh, so on. And it's still smoking, so it's warm here. That's as close as I might get. Um, so this is kind of like my kitchen. Under here we have oh. I forgot to show you. Normally what I use the Halo for is this. This is my friend's boom box. The CD player doesn't work. And up there I was getting a couple couple stations. Down here, mostly static. So, um, as luck would have it though, I still have a bunch of old cassettes and the cassette player does work. So, da -da 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 Rush, Joe. 
the whole gang. They're all out here. We're rocking. And of course, if you look at the slope, little by little, it's getting pounded down where the Bigfoots come every night. Because I have not, uh, my friend and I have both been up once or twice to get wood or to tie up around the log or whatever. But um, otherwise, we have not been up here. And um, so while I've been doing all this right here, Cause he he does the heavy metal with the um, the bobcat around. Uh, he does he does like that tractor um, and the little bulldozer bobcat thingy um, and so on. He's got all the fun tools. So he does the big work and then I do the fine tuning this kind of stuff. Um, but I started to mention the other day about this tree. A couple months ago I was working in here. This used to look like that. Okay, a mess. So um, I was cleaning this up, and it was raining a little bit. So, um, and I can't afford to get very wet because once you get wet out here, it stays wet for days sometimes. So um, it started raining at one point, and I walked up underneath the shelter there, out of sight, and a couple minutes later, I hear crash. Now, if you look, so I'm like, and I, I, it was loud enough to where I actually poked my head out from the shelter to see what had happened. And at the time, you could still see little remnants of the, of the thing, because it shattered into several pieces. It was like three, four, oh, let's look for salamanders. There was three salamanders in this stream, in this pool right here the other day. They probably saw me in their hiding, but um, I saw them right here. There was two of them right here playing by the rock, underwater. And there was a bigger one parked over there somewhere. Um, but I've seen them. There might be one over there. Anyway, so I was um, this. I was working here, right in here, and you could see where that where the thing goes. Okay. Um, and in fact, you know, I've never even actually been over here. I uh, no, I've never been over here. This, so here's my first time. Let's see what do we got poison up now. Okay, but you can see things are smashing it down. Uh, my friend might have been over once or twice to look at things, but um, most of this pounding down is either the big guys or there are deer around. Let's make sure I'm going to wipe it out here. But okay, all this pounded down stuff here, all that. Trail markers, uh huh, branches. This is, see, trail markers. Um, they probably, this is probably a blind right here. See, they kick back up against the slope. And there's enough vegetation when I'm sitting either there or over there at night. They can sit right here and look right in between the leaves and stuff. But that's one of the reasons they probably knocked this thing down. The other was just to play with me. But you can see they built a trail here. Look at this. See how the, how the trunks or whatever these are, big branches, whatever. I'm not sure what exactly they are. Staffing trunks. Look at this. This is a full-blown trail here. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Now, so you can see some deer use it. But um, the vast majority, especially the pounded down stuff, and the woven branches, like one, two, three. Okay, that... Um, sorry, folks. That doesn't happen very often, especially not in the trail. So, anyway. Um, but you can see... Where the heck did this thing come from? It looks like up there someplace. Okay, and you could see it was surrounded. I don't even know how it got past this other sapling. But um, somehow it managed to land exactly needling its way through saplings and whatnot. Exactly where I'd been working five minutes before. Now, now I'm telling you, these guys have a sense of humor. That was a joke. They were like, we're right here. Ha, ha, ha. And you don't even know. Nah, 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 nah. Um, it was, it was a Bigfoot joke. That's what they do. Look at this trail pounded out here. Let's follow this trail. Like I said, I've never been over here. And I know my friend didn't leave all this mark because he's only been up here once or twice to been around for stuff. So, um, let's follow this real quick and see what comes out. Okay, seems a skirt. I don't want to go that any far that way. I need to get rid of this Michelin Man costume because it's getting too warm. So, whoa. So I'm going to ditch this um, fireplace and clear this up. So this is still a work in progress. 
I had a little extra on the BB gun the other night because I know they saw it. I had it under cover up there when I was unloading all my stuff, but they uncovered it, they saw it, I saw the barrel sticking out, and it's like, okay, I better talk to these guys. And so I actually put a BB in my mouth and just spat it out. I said, this is all it does, okay? And it spits out a BB. And then I left the gun and the BBs out, and I've been leaving it out so they can check it out, so they know they're not afraid. They can smell, it's not explosives and whatnot, so. But you can see the ash here on the, on the tent. And if you look at the music stand, oh, crap. I gotta take a picture of that before I finish. But wow, man, I saw that this morning and I was like, holy crap. That's one of the best outlines I've ever seen. And trust me, I, <laughs> I've not been walking, nobody's been walking <laughs> around here barefoot, especially at night when it's freezing, literally freezing. Okay, um, all right, so um, if I can figure out how to do this without dropping anything, I'm gonna sign off here. And of course we got the little trail markers for them. So they know they're welcome. This is their place too. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so your host Dan Davis, sorry about the mess, but um, like I said, I was just in the middle of getting out of all my layers. And I've got, <laughs> there's, Oh, and then there's the gash from the other day running into the tractor, but three pairs of sweats, or two pairs of sweats and these things. A couple pairs of socks, and the, um, <laughs> what I've come to call the, sorry, I'm quoting here, the kitchen bitch slivers, mandatory footwear of kitchen bitches everywhere. <laughs> but you can read about that in Dracula's Angel. Anyway, um, so Dan Davis signing off here. Hope you're having a great time. Stay safe and socially distance and all that, and, um, Stay tuned.